Okay, guys, I'm going to be unboxing my new Dynamite Passport Ultra P2 multi-chemistry battery charger. Um, it's AC-DC, it's got a five-year warranty, it charges two batteries at the same time. Uh, it's a 100 watts AC-DC multi-charger, uh, two different channels, so you can charge two different battery types, whether you have a LiPo, nickel metal hydride, NICAD, or BP, which is lead acid. Uh, not too many people still use those unless they have them in their starter boxes, but most of them go to LiPo anyway. Uh, it charges uh, LiPo, uh, LiPo high voltage, which is LIHV, LIFE, nickel metal hydride, NICADs, and like I said, BPs. Uh, Dynamite dashboard smartphone control and monitor via Bluetooth. Bring all that up so you can see it. Uh, it's got a uh, high visibility simplified LCD interface, uh, built in balance port, integrated voice functionality. I wonder what that's about. Um, so let's open this thing up and see what it does and power it up for the first time. Instruction manual. I will probably never use the, the smartphone app because my phone won't support apps like that. So, a lot of good stuff. Um, the reason why I bought this is because winter's coming and I have quite a few lipos now. And I don't have a, a safe way to put them in storage mode, and this charger will do that. Um, it also has nickel metal hydride cycling charging, uh, so I can cycle the battery pack, make sure it's getting full, uh, and so on and so forth. So, let's take a look at this and see what's in the box here. Free cool brand swag, huh? Register your product. Thanks for choosing Horizon Hobby, which I actually got from Tower Hobbies, but Tower Hobbies is Horizon now, so. Send you some awesome brand stickers. I wonder what that's about. What do we got here? Looks like a power cord. A banana plug with no ends. So what is this? Uh, what is this? Uh, EC5. It's an EC3. I don't use those. Another EC5 to XT90. I've got one of those. I've got, got two of those. There's another one of the EC5 to the EC3s. It's so another banana plug with no ends on it, but they are pre tin so if you need to put your own connectors on it, be much simpler I guess. Well that's a balancer board and, and wires for that. A second one for a second port. And two of these which is a banana plug to EC3. So I got two of those. Let's pull the charger out and take a look at this thing. Move the box out of the way. Sorry about that. Okay. Looks simplified enough. Let's see, you got a 5 volt, 2.1 amp uh, USB charger. So if you have like a, a smartphone or, or something, you could plug in your um, USB. Is that USB? Yeah, USB cord into that. Um, I'm not sure what that is. I didn't look at the manual yet. Got uh, two temperature probes. Uh, those are useful when you're doing uh, nickel metal hydrides and NICADs. Uh, 
must be an option because they're not in the box. I didn't see any temperature probes. And I remember what they looked like when I had my old uh, Duratrax and Telepeak ice. So there's uh, port A, port B. Oh, those buttons feel nice. Let's see, you got, uh, got your uh, AC uh, current and DC current. I didn't see a uh, plug for that either. Yeah, that's not going to fit. So, there must be a uh, DC power cord, must be separate. So, never use a charger unsupervised. I don't know how many people listen to that. It's always a good idea not to charge up a battery and then walk away and go take a shower and have a cup of coffee and take a nap. <laughs> That's probably not a good thing to do. Okay, so I unraveled the power cord. That's plugged in. Well, let's plug this thing in and see what it sounds like. Welcome. I am ready. Whoa! Make sure The freaking thing talks. Uh, okay. Well, can't go any farther until I uh, have the proper plug, so I'll be. Oh, don't have to go too far. I got some banana plugs right here with uh, T plug or Dean's plugs. Red in the red, black in the black, red positive, black negative. I'm guessing that's how that works. Let's open up one of these balance boards. I'm guessing uh, that's going to slide in and snaps into place. And just like most uh, LiPo chargers that have balancing boards, you got multiple colors. If you look on the front, it's got the negative side. One, two, three, it's, it's kind of like in a reverse rotation, so not to mention the plug only goes in one way. Because it's got these notches on it that line up inside here, so that's plugged in. All right, so what are we going to do here? Try my uh, my 3S from uh, Z. It's a 7200 milliamp battery, and uh, plug that into third port for three cell, which is there. Just there, and then uh, positive to positive, negative to negative. Ooh, got some grass. All right, so. Now, no, don't know how to do that. Oh, okay. Battery program. Let's see what that is. Hmm. No clue. Battery internal resistance. Oh, let's see what that is. Checking battery. System setting. Lithium polymer. Okay, well guys, I guess I'm going to have to read the manual and figure this out. I'll be right back. Okay, uh, going through the menu here. It tells you uh, all the steps that you need to take 
to uh, get this to where it's at because now I got it at three and a half amps for 11.3. Uh, stop. Okay. Lipo. Storage. Okay, when you do all that, you can sit there and you can hit the incline. And take it all the way up. I mean, I don't need to go 8 amps, so I'm going to put that back down. I'm going to set it at 4, I think. Then you, uh, then you can uh, go up to, does up the 6S lipo. But this is only a 3S, so I'll do that. Press and hold enter button to start. Press start to confirm. Okay. Press and hold enter button to start. And now it's going into uh, storage mode. Seeing how I don't use this battery often and, and it's been used. I'm just going to see uh, where it goes. This will also discharge light bulbs to a safe setting. Uh, it's all programmable. I'll have to go through the manual to set it all up and figure it all out. But uh, that's the gist of it. Um, because. One second. This was my old charger. It still works. But it doesn't have storage <coughs> settings. And. Uh, and it would time out if you're doing a, like a 7200 or even my 5000s. It'll time out after about an hour or so. And I have to restart the charge. Uh, this, I shouldn't have a problem with this one. This looks like it'll work fine. So uh, I'm going to play around with it a little bit longer. And uh, maybe I'll have a part two of this video. Thanks guys for watching. Have a good day. I got a little premature on that. Um, you can hit the incline and decline buttons. This gives you a readout of each individual cell. Uh, fuel, I'm guessing, is capacity at 88%. Those are the only two options I have with this. Oh, and the fan just kicked on. So that's cool. It's quiet too. All right, um, again, thanks for watching, and uh, I should have a part two. I want to try my uh, my nickel metal hydride seven cell and see if I can't cycle that one. So that part will be on uh, video two. Thanks again for watching. Have a good day. Bye.